It's Football Friday Night on Fox 44, sponsored by Albertsons. Welcome in. It's Football Friday Night, Week 7, and joining me is the Chad Savity. Chessa Boucher, how are you on this fine, beautiful Friday night? I have to say something, Chad. What's Tonight that? was the first night that it really felt like football weather. Perfect time to play some pigskin out yes, there and some key matchups on the docket. All kind of matchups. District play going mm -hmm. on. It's in the thick of things. I love it. Let's just get straight to the good stuff with our game the of one. the week. It was a good one, folks. Live Oaks hosting Walker in a big 5A district matchup tonight. The Eagles looking to bounce back after dropping their district opener to Zachary. With 49 seconds left in the first quarter, Rick Rosevere hands it off to Key Hawkins. He picks up 25 yards before he stopped just one yard short of the end zone. Then on the next play, guess who it is? Hawkins, he'll punch it in for the score. Live Oak takes a 7-0 lead over the Wildcats. Earlier in the second quarter, Walker's Ethan McMasters gives the rock to Keandre Brown and LSU commit Jalen Lees is not in my house. Big boy right there. He'll look good in the purple and gold for sure. Then later in the second, Live Oak with the ball. Rosevere trying to make something happen, but Carrie Flowers is there for the INT. It's now Wildcats football in the next possession for Walker. It's a missed field goal. A big stop for the Eagles defense, keeping the Wildcats out of the end zone. Then with less than two to play before half, Rosevere throws a short pass to Byron Smith. He breaks a few tackles and he's off to the races. The speed. He goes 50 yards to the house, but guess what, Chad? Coming Called back. Back ah. for a block in the back. Coach Brett Beard, he doesn't like that call and I don't blame Displeased. him. Displeased. Displeased would definitely be <laughs> A little bit of an understatement right there, but Walker, they are held scoreless in the first half as the Eagles take a 7-0 lead at halftime, but they do get in the end zone on that play, putting up 27 points in the second half. Walker, with a come-from-behind win over Live Oak, 27-14 nice. is the final score. And now we're going to take you out to Live Oak, where Brooke Kirchhofer is there with the winning coach, Chad Mahaffey. And just so you know, Chad, that makes me... Three and six in ride along so far this season. That's not good, Chessa. Three and six. Oh, uh, that's a lot better than one and three. Okay, like that, yeah. that, is, that yeah. is better. I'll but take hey, it. <laughs> immediate reaction from the winning coach with Brooke. Hey guys, I'm joined by the winning head coach of the night, Chad Mahaffey. Coach, before the before halftime, you guys were down seven to nothing. Kind of had your backs against the wall. What did you say to them at halftime to be able to come out and get this win? Uh, our defense was really playing well. You know, we gave up that first drive, but uh, after that, defense was really doing a nice job. And, uh, you know, those guys do a good job offensively of keeping the ball from you. And uh, we need to play better offensively. And I think we played a little better. I don't know if we played a lot better, but, uh, you know, we were able to get the ball to Brian. He made some big plays for us. But a uh, tremendous job by our defensive staff uh, and the kids on defense to hold those guys, you know, to one score. What do you think about your quarterback, Ethan McMasters, and just the game he was able to put together today? It seemed like he was the difference in this game. Yeah, he did a nice job. You know, Ethan's a good leader for us. Um, you know, he, he understands offense and I think what we're trying to do. And uh, so, again, another solid game for him. And he found Brian Thomas, the guy you were just talking about twice, and then he comes back with a kick return, return for a touchdown. Just what do you have to say about him? Uh, you know, he, he's been a special player for us. Um, you know, it, it's a guy that, um, you know, it's kind of a hard balance. You know, we want to get the ball to him, uh, but we also, you know, get to have other guys step up too. And, and I thought tonight some guys showed some things which are good, but uh, there's no doubt, I mean, he's a special playmaker. What does it mean to you? This is your first year coaching in this rivalry. What does it mean to you to get the win tonight against Live Oak? You know, I, I think for the kids, of course, so many people in communities knowing each other. Of course, it's something that's exciting. Um, you know, for us, I mean, we just – we really are trying to just improve as a team, and I feel like we're on the right track uh, to get to 2-0 in district with the teams we played. says a lot, and uh, we're excited about that. All right, thank you so much. Congratulations. I'm now joined by Brian Thomas, wide receiver who had three touchdowns tonight. Just what was working well for the offense in the second half? Uh, we were able to get a couple yards running the ball, and that opened up the passing game a lot more for me and my teammates, my other uh, former my other wide receivers. Why couldn't you guys get anything clicking in the first half? Just what was going on there? Uh, we just had to execute better. We always got to get, get better uh, execution-wise. What do you think about your quarterback, Ethan McMasters, and the game he was able to put together tonight? Uh, he just comes out and plays hard every game, plays to his best ability. and He's, he's one, of our, one of the good, best quarterbacks, I think, in the state, and he can be up there with all of them. And your defense held them to just seven points 
in the second half. Just what do you have to say about their resiliency? Uh, they came out and played hard. They stopped the run. They did a lot of good things on defense, and we just we try to come out on offense and help help them out. All right, thank you, Brian. Congratulations on the win. Chessa, send it back to you in the studio.